So our game is a road safety game and it is a way for teens and people that are going to get their license for them to basically learn the road code and be quizzed on it and be able to carry out the situations but without being put in a scenario where they're actually in a car and are stressing about what to do and not knowing the right answers. So it gives them a way to be able to go through the situation without actually going through it. And like uh, one day we're just like sitting down around and then saw this other guy like playing on the computer on, a, on like a quiz. My friend said, oh, it's a good idea. We should like make it in interactive and like make a game so like you can like actually play the game, like answer the question. I definitely enjoyed working in a team because the term before we worked on the game, we worked as individuals and I found that working as a team was easier and also produced a better game. I was good so because we learned like the strengths and weaknesses of other people and how to, how to overcome that and working well with others. Uh, we had to do a bit of research, so um, research about the New Zealand road code and um, our target audience, so new drivers. I'm Max, I'm part of the group that did Dumb Ways to Drive and it's basically a bunch of mini games that each send a message about road safety. So basically it's a game that um, takes people through um, a series of different scenarios and um, basically teaches them a message for each one of them. There's actually a lot of different uh, factors that can affect your safety, not just as a driver but as like a passenger as well. I walked into computer um, technology without any experience before and yeah, I've definitely learned a lot from it. I enjoyed how we like learned how to work as a group and we really like made a bond and like gelled together kind of and yeah, it was really fun um, working with each other. Yeah.